a description essay describes something, tells about something. How do you do that? Well, you need to use words and phrases that help the reader feel or see or hear or smell the things that you describe. So if you describe going to a swimming pool, you need to describe what? The water, the temperature, the floating in the water. Those are all feelings you have. That's what a description essay does. So let's take a look at how to approach a description essay. This kind of essay will describe something and usually it'll focus on using your five senses. Remember what your five senses are? They include sight, seeing, sound, hearing, taste, tasting it, smell, smelling something, and touching something. So you can use these senses to help someone understand what they can't touch, they cannot see, they cannot, they cannot hear, they cannot smell because you're writing about it in your essay. But you can help them to imagine that they could experience it if they had a chance to go there, which they don't because they're just reading your essay. So a description essay is actually a lot of fun. It's a chance for you to take some adventure, to have an adventure, and to let the reader kind of follow along and, and feel those feelings, smell those smells, see those sights, hear those sounds through you because obviously they can't do it if they're not really there. The introductory paragraph of a description essay will usually begin with what is the topic. For example, are we going to the beach? I'm going to tell you about the trip I took to Egypt, or I'm going to tell you about my experience preparing to go to university, or I'm going to tell you about my scary experience, something that scary happened to me. In any case, you begin with the first paragraph telling what is that topic. You don't need to give things away. You don't need to tell too much because it may be that your description has all of these details in it and you really cannot put that together in the first paragraph. So this essay is a little bit different from other essays in that you don't need to push yourself to get a really strong core main point in the first paragraph. You're going to describe things in your essay. The first paragraph is really set the scene. Let us know where we're at, what's happening, or why you are describing this to us. The body paragraphs, each paragraph can actually describe one part of the thing you're describing. So this may be, one paragraph may be about temperature, one paragraph may be about sound, one paragraph may be about taste, one paragraph may be about the smells. It's hard to mix those all together in the same paragraph. So a good idea is separate them out. Each aspect, each feeling, or each perception can be in its own paragraph. That's a really good way to approach it. Then the last paragraph, the concluding paragraph, will summarize the main points, the big ones, and maybe give some final ideas or thoughts like, so you should travel to Taiwan too because it's so much fun, something like that. <laughs>